Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Rami Ansour here at the Taiba Foundation office in Union City, California. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about two books that we developed here at Taiba Foundation for our correspondence program for use with the incarcerated and formerly incarcerated. And they were developed in part with the support of Gift USA. May Allah bless the entire organization and all those who support them. So the first book that we developed here at Leiba is called Introduction to Motivational Interviewing. Motivational Interviewing, or MI, is a method of having a conversation with somebody about change and eliciting intrinsic motivation of that person to change. It's a very powerful method. It's evidence-based. It's used by therapists, psychiatrists, psychologists, coaches, and peer mentors. And so we wanted to bring this into Taba. First, we had our staff trained on MI, and then we wanted to, to, to give training to people who are in prison, prisoners who are leading self-help groups. And so we found that this is a key component of their training and there is no program that is offering it to prisoners. And so we took the training that we went through, we consolidated it into this very short book and turned it into a course. There were a number of people and organizations, our general TABA budget, another grant giving organization and Gift USA, whose combined support allowed us to develop this material. Now we've had this course being offered for a couple of years and we deliver it on a regular basis. The other book is uh, another groundbreaking book. It's called Overcoming Addiction. And what Overcoming Addiction is, it's the compilation of two Muslims who are currently in prison and both have struggled with substance use or substance abuse. And they both have methods of recovery that they've developed on their own and worked with others. One in particular, Ahmed Adisa, one of the author authors, he actually runs an intensive therapeutic community within one of the prisons. And so he took the 12 steps program and using an Islamic framework of tezkiyah, of purification of the heart, blended the two in a first groundbreaking method of approaching the, the evidence-based practice of the 12 steps program. The other book is Abdu, uh, Abdus Salam, um, his reflections on addiction and recovery. And so those two books together, it's actually now getting a lot of traction. This book also was primarily supported. The development of it was, uh, uh, was subsidized by a grant given to us by Gifts USA. So may Allah bless them, bless the entire organization and all those who, who support it. We initially had a couple of hundred students take this course who are they themselves peer mentors, but now we have made the decision to provide this course to all of our Taba students. So just this semester alone, this book is going out to over 700 students. So now every student that takes Islamic studies courses with Taba is going to take this overcoming addiction course, whether or not they themselves struggle with addiction, because it's such a widespread uh, epidemic. Just this past Ramadan and in the last couple of months, we've heard number of uh, a number of Muslims who are in prison and have died of overdose. So there's a there's a lot of drugs that are uh, being spread within the prison system, and we want the Muslims to be carriers of healing for this. And this course is going to be key for that. So again, this was uh, the development of this was funded primarily by the grant given to Taba by Gift USA. May Allah bless you and bless everyone. It's also available on Amazon. And so we're getting feedback from people outside of the U.S. and all over the U.S. who are buying this book because it's definitely the first of its kind in its field.